G'day guys, Adam Kogan here, and today we're gonna to talk about appointments and having a good organized calendar. And I have the man who I know who sends the most appointments, Yuli. G'day, how's it going? Excellent. All right, so you send appointments for about 50 people. And what is in a good appointment? There's a few things that make it easier. First thing you need to do is make sure your title or your subject has all the relevant information. So you're putting in who's meeting, what are they meeting about? Don't just send something that says meeting or meeting with Bob. And don't forget to put your name as well because they have to read it from the other angle. Yeah, good point. Uh, next thing is the location. So don't put meeting room three, put, you know, meeting room three, level three, 81 to 91 military road, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Put the full address so that it's clickable on an app or whatever so people can just get there easily, open up maps. Um, they don't need to Google where you are. Put all the relevant information. And the last thing about that is don't put the time or the location into the body of the email. That's quite a common thing people do. Um, they duplicate that information. And as you'd say, don't repeat yourself. So if you then change the appointment, you'll forget to change the body and you'll have stuff that's out of sync and people won't know what time the meeting actually is. Excellent. And what should you do when you change the details of an appointment, like add someone or change the time or whatever? Yeah, so this happens all the time with us. Um, if you're changing, for instance, a sprint review to be later in the afternoon, just put in an update at the top of the body to say update, changing to 3 p.m. because Penny's busy or whatever it is. Okay. What do you do when you've got a bunch of people and you're trying to coordinate uh, a bunch of people? Let's, let's talk internally and externally. Yeah, right. Okay, so this is easiest for internal people when, when your systems have full knowledge of everyone's calendar because you can use things like the scheduling assistant so long as you've all shared your calendar permissions uh, for instance, I could look directly at your calendar. And you do. And I do. Um, or I could look at the scheduling assistant. So say I've got to meet with you and Penny and Michael all at the same time. It's a pain in the ass to look at each one of your calendars individually. So I can open up the scheduling assistant and see them all right next to each other. Um, but an even easier thing, and this is really cool, is to use a little bit of AI for that. So you can use Cortana, uh, the Cortana calendar scheduler. And all you do is you pretend that Cortana is your PA. So, for instance, if I send you an email uh, and say Penny and Michael succeed, and I say, hey guys, can we all meet up sometime this week to discuss retreats? Um, normally that would then start a conversation of, all right, when's everyone free? Oh, I think I can do Thursday. Oh, no, I'm busy Thursday. How about Friday? You know, and it just goes back and forth and back and forth. And this is a waste of time, right? And sometimes the easiest way is just get everyone on the phone and talk it through, but sometimes that's not possible and you want to do things asynchronously. So, what you can do is just CC Cortana and say, Cortana, find us a time in the next week when we can meet. It'll look at all your calendars and just slot it straight in, which is super cool. I really like that. Awesome. Um, and what about Siri? So, <laughs> so I talk to Siri more than I talk to my wife. Um, but yes, you can also create appointments with Siri. You just say, hey, Siri, set me a meeting at 4 p.m. tomorrow with Adam, and it'll send an appointment to you so long as you're in my contacts. And how many times do you do that a week? I use reminders mostly and notes, uh, but I do that every day. Every day you'll use Siri to create an appointment? I don't remember anything in my head. I use reminders and appointments for everything. Okay. Ask me now what I'm doing after this. No idea. I have to check my phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you do when somebody like me is saying, surely you can find half an hour in your day tomorrow? Yes. Okay. So if you are smashed, you know, you're yes. back to back and you don't want to sound defensive, um, you can actually just use Outlook to insert your calendar directly into an email. Um, you can use this to show either just your availability, yeah. you know, free, busy, busy, free, free, busy, or you can literally say everything. Look, here's everything I have on tomorrow. I'm not lying. I really am this busy. Which button is that? Do you remember? Oh, insert calendar, I think. It's the fourth button. It's the yeah, fourth button along in the insert <laughs> <Right>. menu. <laughs> awesome. And uh, do you ever care about the subject for metrics for Power BI reports? It's really important to have some tracking, um, especially for sales meetings, right? That it's really important how many you're having. You can kind of do a bit of forecasting of how business is going to go based on how many sales meetings your guys have been having over a period of time. So we do a Power BI report um, and we use a combination of Outlook and Dynamics 365 for that. So for us, we say it has to be set regarding, oh, sorry, it has to be tracked without regarding using Dynamics and the, in, the words in the title need to be initial meeting. If it's got those two things, it pops into the metrics for that report. Yeah, and those reports are really important to us. Yeah. Yeah, because they show activity and where are we focusing on this or that? You know, should, yeah. What should we change? And how we've set that up is specific to us, but anyone could choose what they, specific code words they want to have. 
to be recognized to pull into mm. some metrics. Okay. Thanks, Yuli. That was really awesome. And uh, if you follow those tips and a whole bunch more on the website, Rules to Better Calendars, you'll be more efficient. And uh, in the comments, you know, we're always looking for good tips. Put your tips there or put in crazy stuff you see. And this is Adam Kogan signing off for SSW TV. G'day guys, Adam Kogan here. And today I'm going to talk to you about calendar appointments. And I have a phone that is not on time. Can I just reschedule to tomorrow, same time? I should have done until I send an appointment. What you should do now is send yourself an appointment. Yes. Set an appointment for three o'clock tomorrow afternoon to talk to Mariella. Well, yeah, I never do that. <laughs> I should we add that as a rule? <laughs>